Kilkenny. No strangers and Pats from a few years ago, no doubt. It's a really long throw in. Oh, it's missed by the defenders. Chance here for Sean Donnell. He's just headed it over the bar. Looks like it caught after he headed it, but it just was an awkward angle, Roy, to get it down. It just it just hopped up on him, you know. The pitch is still pretty firm, you know, from a dry week here. And uh, you know, Shawnee, I'm sure his eyes would have lit up there, but the Pats defender, now he was he was right on it there, uh, right there on it with him. Just can't see his number 10, there. Thomas Lonergan's going to come in. And it looks like he's just going to be a straight swap. It's back to me, a lovely bit of skill, chance to the shot. That's, that's what you'd want. Ryan Flood at the edge of the box, Rory on that famous left foot. Yeah, listen, he, he just didn't he just didn't catch it. It was a bit of a snapshot, really. Uh, you know, there was plenty of men in close proximity beside him. But uh, listen, it's an attempt on goal. Here, the, the Finn Harps uh, drum going the far side, but some Pats have brought their own drummer as well. Oh, oh, a lovely turn. A skill there. Good field by Mulroney. It's a dangerous ball in behind where Kelly comes out. He's done well to smother, but it's a comeback. To Preston, is it? Rory Kelly has done well. First real glimpse we've had of some Pats tonight, Rory, and we're it's the 20th minute, and uh, just a bit of pace, a bit of skill, but Harps are well to deal with that. They did, you know, it was a fantastic turn from Mulroney there, you know, and slip, slipped it through to, to the, his, his teammate there on the inside left, Rory Kelly. So big chance here for Forrester. It's hit the inside of the post, and somehow it stayed out. McClellan just can't keep it, it's going to be a goal kick, so we have their chance there. It was Forrester who got on that one, Rory. It was just a half chance was right, a real snapshot from the edge of the box. And, you know, I, I was just waiting to see it nestle in the, in the bottom corner because it was such a clean strike and so well positioned. Back back at the, the inside. Area, but Seamus Kuehl clears. Dixie Ferry a great touch. Sean Dawes on the far side. He's going to release it. He's in. Yeah, he's on side. Can he finish it? Yes, he can. Oh. <laughs> it's a goal for Finn Harps. Just as St. Pat's on the score at the other end. Finn Harps break. It was great play of Dixie Ferry. And he's put Sean Hall through and he's buried at the back of the night. Well, there you go. What a fantastic finish from Sean O'Donnell. Uh, Rory Kelly did really, really well to punch the ball clear there. Ball broke out to Dixie Ferry. He did so well to get into space. He looked up, released the perfectly timed ball through to Sean O'Donnell. The question then was whether Sean would have the, have the composure then to finish. Well, that young lad, I'll tell you, he's done it on, so in here in Finn Park well. this season already, Paddy. Ryan Flood. And headed backwards for Kevin Porter. He's done well to get in front of his man, like the me. Get a little touch inside of Kevin Porter. Can he hit one? He certainly can. Oh, what a save that is by Linus. That was a super move there by Finn Harps. Right? Absolutely brilliant move. Football from Finn Harps over that far side. Tony McNamee, Ryan Flood, just into Kevin Porter. Perfect touch to get it out from under his feet. And a rasping shot. How do you have to say? That was a fantastic save from Dean Linus. He was at full Porter's stretch to well. tip it over the bar. Corner for Back into the edge of the box. McClellan's going to look to hit one here, is he? He's back to his right foot. That's a great strike. That's it. Rory Kelly saw it all the way, Rory, but he still had to get the get a hand on it. Yeah, listen, he, he shaped like he was going to hit it with his left there, Paddy, and turned right inside again onto his right foot and unleashed a really good shot. It might have been drifting wide. I'm just looking at from this angle here, but you know, Rory Kelly couldn't take any chances. He got his fingertips to it. Vision teams are, so, are uh, some pads, you know. With one foot, shall we say, one toenail into the <laughs> into the semi-finals, and obviously a lot can sure. happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe the wee toe. Here we go, a ball into the box. Just as we get carried away, the referee gives a penalty. Is he going to give a card here as well to Shimish Q? Not sure what happened. We we'll have to see this back here. You know, it's a, a devastating. That's, that's just exactly the start that Finn Harps didn't want at all. Just looking at the replay, yeah, he just he just lost his man, Shimus Q, and just took him down from behind. Uh, it, yeah, it was a penalty, all right, but very uh, and very cool from Chris Forrester to tuck it away. So Harps uh, disappointed to concede. Gage is six yard box. He gets up, but it's well marshaled. Tony McNamee just can't get on it. But he tries to get left foot, it could be dangerous here if it breaks either way. Does break the flood. What a strike. Well, that one was certainly hit with a bit of venom, Rory, as we know he can. And just uh, just over the bar, marginally. 
Yeah, you know, it was just the ball bobbled about there. I thought it was never going to come down for one of the Harps men. But suddenly you see it come out from underneath uh, Ryan Flood's feet and the, uh, on his left foot, 25 nice yards out again. to 22 or Up 23. It's a dangerous area. Clean back to the edge of the box. Hoping to get a left foot on it. It's a great dummy, you'll see. Just <laughs> bobbled up as he went to hit it. And Stephen Dorney has just dragged it past the far side there. Well, McNamee, uh, in fairness, took a wee bobble and he got onto his left foot, but he didn't panic. He showed a group of experience and he just recycled that ball back out again. It's the edge of the box as Stephen Dorney came onto it. And he's just gone the wrong side of the post. Yeah, he's got his head in his hands there still. Referee, assistant referee in agreement as a throw to Pats. Lonergan. Oh, it gets around his man. This is super dangerous. It is indeed. This is Lonergan, I think it is, who turned his man and sticks one into the top corner. A real killer for Van Herf there, Rory. Yeah, uh, you know, I was just saying, coming into the last five minutes, you know, and the concentration just has to be. There's a bit of commotion over I the think far it was side about there. The, the throw one that the was given to St. Pat, I think that's where the argument is. Yeah. You know, they're certainly they know they've been in a game tonight. Yeah. So it's an hard free kick here for Fun Harps, but that's it. the referee has blown it up here. Uh, the final score here at Fun Harps is Fun Harps 1, St. Pat's Athletic 2. And the referee, Robert Harvey, blows it up right on the right on the six minutes. Uh, Look at the experience at the end, right? It's a point for uh, Dave Rogers on his. He helps out here tonight at Fun Park. So, uh, for myself, Paddy McDade, and my co commentator Rory White, uh, good night to you all. And the final score here from Fun Park is Fun Harps 1, St. Patrick's Athletic 2.